Hi, welcome to All Brands After Hours with me, your host, Courtney Dowlett. This is the show where we hang out and craft together. Today, we'll be using the Brother Print Moda, as well as going over what you need to know before you buy. Let's do this. The secret's out, Print Moda is out. Brother Print Moda is a fabric printer that not only can print on fabric, but it can do among a ton of other things. So the number one thing I want you to be aware of is it's not only a fabric printer. Yes, I printed this piece of fabric on the Brother Print Moda. It's not only a, a fabric printer, it also can use paper. So it can be your regular, you know, printer at home just on paper. So that is something pretty cool. It does not have a built-in scanner. So there is no scanner. However, you can take a picture with your phone, send it through Artspira and print it out that way. So I don't really use a scanner a lot in my house, so it doesn't really matter to me. But that is something I want you to be aware of. All right, so to use Print Moto, what you first need to do is download the app Artspira. This is Brother's app called Artspira. You can download it on a phone or on a tablet. So you can download it on your tablet or your phone. I personally like, oh, there's my kids. <laughs> I personally like to do it on my tablet because think, I have this whole screen and my pencil to edit with where on my uh, phone, I just have my phone. So, so you can take the Artspear app on your phone or your whatever device that you choose, log into it to be able to edit it. Yes, you have to use Artspear uh, to be able to send things to the print moda, but if you haven't used Artspira yet, what are you waiting for? It's simple. It's simple. It's amazing. And they give you free embroidery designs, free cutting designs for your embroidery machines and your scan and cut. How amazing. And then they give you free designs for the print moda. That is all free. Artspira is amazing. So <laughs> I will, and if you guys want, I will do a whole video just on Artspira because it's pretty cool. So let's jump into it. So when you first jump into Artspira, whoop, there we go. When you first jump into Artspira uh, on your phone or your tablet, there is not currently a web-based base version like Brother Canvas. Um, so that is something that we've all told Brother we really, really want. So right now, what you need to do is when you first get your, your print moda, you're going to want to come right here. And now you're going to go to creative printer. That is what the print moda is. It is a creative printer. What you're going to do is you're going to select this and you're going to hook it up to your Wi-Fi. Why do we want to do that? We want to make sure that the Wi-Fi of the device we're using, so our phone or our tablet, is on the same Wi-Fi frequency as print moda because that's how they talk back and forth. So. A lot of people were getting frustrated going, why, why can't I, why isn't it working? Well, it's because your Wi-Fi, you, you weren't on the correct one. So that's where you would go. There is a step-by-step -step guide that the phone will do for you as well as print moda. And there's also that booklet that came with your print moda that has a step-by-step -step guide of how to hook up your Wi-Fi. So highly recommend that. It's really good, but it's super simple. So mine's already hooked up. So what I can do now is come down here to the bottom and I can select new. Now, I already have it on the printing, but you would have embroidery, they go embroidery, cutting, printing. Well, if I wanted to do embroidery designs, I'd go to embroidery. If I wanted to do my scan and cut, I'd go to cutting. But I wanna to go to printing, which is what the print moda does, I'm gonna to come to the printing one up here at the top. So, you have two options right here. You have printing patterns or geometric patterns. Let's go through both. Printing patterns, you can select what size. You can do any of these regular paper sizes or you can come to a custom size. A custom size will let you select the exact height and width that you want to go. So we're on the width, we can do 11.69. So that is something I want you to be aware of before you buy. However, the height can go up to what? I think the roll is a 5.4 fabric roll. So you could do fabric, you could also do paper. So think if you're making a homemade banner for a birthday party, you can make it fabric banner or you can make it a paper banner, whatever you prefer. So that we're not limited on that. So I'm going to, whoop, <laughs> I'm gonna hit create and it brings up this huge thing for me. So I could select any of these colors and do a whole sheet of just that color if I wanted to, but we both know I'm gonna do more. So then I could come to pattern. 
These are all the different patterns that are currently in Artsphere. I do know that they will probably be adding a lot more. So you could, of course, bring that in, or you can go to images. This is what's gonna be on your phone or your device. So it's gonna bring all mine up here. So let's say I selected this one right here of some cute little nutcrackers that I saw at the store. If I wanted to print him out or print out a picture of my son, I could if I wanted to, and this would be a huge piece of fabric that I could do. But if I saw something really neat that I wanted, I could do it right here. So you, if you also have already made one, it's right here for you and it saves all of yours and you can name it whatever you want. So if I selected, whoop, so if I selected this one that I had made earlier, look at that, there's a whole sheet of it. How cool is that? if I wanted to make that. And I could make it the full five yards if I wanted to. So I'm gonna hit done. I'm not gonna print this whole thing out, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do geometric. Courtney, what is geometric? That is something I want you to be aware of. Geometric pattern, if we select that, what's gonna happen is again, we can select our own pattern or an image from our phone, whatever we prefer. In this case, I'm gonna select this one right here. How cool. So if you look at that design, well, that design does not look like that. Why? Because we're in geometric. So if I had brought that design in, well, in pattern and legal sheet, let's just do it legal so you guys can see. Let's go to pattern, select that same one. This is what it actually looks like. So yes, I can print it out of that if I want to, but if I wanted to go a step further and really distort and change that image and make it a a now custom one, here we go. So that's the same image, but it made it into a kaleidoscope. How cool is that? And now you have so many options. You can now open it up and click around and really see all the crazy, amazing designs. And it doesn't end there. There's more. You could tell you want more options. Throw me more things that I can possibly do. How cool. So I'm gonna select this one just for fun. And I'm gonna hit done. Then I'm gonna to come to effect, effect. I don't know how you say that. And now it gives me more options. That's the color it already was, but whoa, I like this, or ooh, I like this. And now you can now be the designer that selects these really amazing patterns and colors that you want. Well, I'm gonna stay with the original tried and true, but you can do that. We could come now to the last icon, and this is side, this is where it gets cool in my opinion. And you can't tell I'm excited. <laughs> now, I can play with the size. Look at that, guys. How amazing is this? You can go out as far as you want, or you can come in. So you really now, oh my gosh, how cool is that? You really now can make a custom pattern, whatever you want. And again, we could have used pictures off of our phone of cool things. If we already had a piece of fabric and we wanted a coordinating piece, we could make our own. So now that we've done that, again, you can change it and add and change. I mean, how cool is this Halloween one that they give you? And again, we can change the colors of that if we wanted to. Look, they give you all these crazy, amazing, oh, that's really cool. That's actually really cool. But they give you all these crazy, amazing options that you can do and really sky's the limit. Yes, they give you ones in the machine, but you are, or in the art spirit, but you are not limited to the ones that are just on here. You can make whatever you want. How cool is that? So now when you're done doing that, you can hit save and you could change the name to whatever you want. So I think the one I changed earlier or I saved earlier, we named it after hours. So I don't need to do that again, but we're gonna put in some words and hit save. It's saving to the server, which is just saving to Artspira. So now that we're, we're done, we've edited, we've saved it, let's go ahead and we're gonna print it. So how do you print, Courtney? Well, you need to go to the printing one and select your size. Now, if you're still in the editing screens, then you can just go ahead and print from there. But if you did click out, you can go to my pattern, select which one you saved, and then that way it will pull it up for you. Go ahead and hit done. And this is the screen you wanna be on if you're ready to print. Because what you can do is hit done. And now it's asking you, do you wanna save? Well, I've already saved, so don't save. Okay, there it is. There's our print, it is ready. I told it I wanted it 
just to be a piece of paper. You know, if I wanted to do the large ones, I could. I just told it I wanted this. If you notice, my brother, Brent Moda, that is his actual name, is Mark, or on there. But you could go into settings. You have two different options. You could now go fine printing, which is regular full blast vibrant color, or you could do eco mode. It uses less ink. It's not as vibrant though, but it's up to you, whatever you prefer. Now we have border and border lists. Let's go ahead. I did do a border on this one and we're going to hit preview. All right. So there we go. We have it set up and now we're ready. So all we have to do is hit print. It's going to ask you, hey, for what you're wanting to print, make sure that there's at least this much left in the roll of fabric, because if not, you're going to be in trouble. Okay. And now it's going to tell us it's printing and it's going to tell us at what percent. Oh, it's going fast. Alrighty, so here she is. She has done uh, printed her out. She is beautiful. She is so cool. Now, there is a plastic sheet on the back of it. What you're going to do is when your fabric comes out, no matter what size you do, this one I just happened to do this size, but of course you can do the five yards or 5.4 yards, let me say correctly. You can. So you have two options. You can leave it there perfectly still for 15 minutes and let it dry. Or you can do what I do and not do that. And brother's okay with this. I asked. You can take it, peel off that clear backing that is on there. Like that. Take it over to your ironing station. Put a protective piece of cotton material over it and iron it. And it'll dry it within seconds. And then you can just go ahead and start using it. Guys, look at this. Look at this. This is a piece of 100% cotton broadcloth. It's smooth, it's soft, it's awesome. So now we can take this and put it on any of our patterns or uh, we can put this in any of our projects now. I made an adorable little um, makeup pouch that I now have that I love. Wait, where is it? How cute. <laughs> I've been playing with it already. How cool is this? I mean, I literally just had to do doop doop and add a zipper and it was great. But you could have done wider, longer. There's so many cool things that we can now make with print moto by making our own fabric. So I think coming up pretty soon, I am actually going to take the scan and cut and the print moda and have them play together because there is now no limitations. I can make whatever fabric I want. I can now cut it out with my scan and cut and have them play really cool together. I really think it'd be really neat to like, this is me going on tangents, but get like a bear pattern Print it out. So like each section of the bear, both of his arms, like both sides of his head, his tummy, his legs, print out all the pieces on my print moda. So all the pieces, take that, put it on my 12 by 24 mat and have it cut it out for me. Like cut out that pattern, stitch them all together. Oh, you can also add a seam allowance with the scan and cut if I wanted to. And then I've made a 3D object with my print moda and my scan and cut. Guys, I'm excited. This is cool. This is, this is cool. So look at this. Now the camera is of course drowning it out a little bit. Let me see if I switch. The camera is drowning out. That main camera I use is drowning out, but like that's actually what it looks like. How stinking cool is this? Look at that. That is amazing. And it's like, look at it. It's, it's fabric. So you can do you can treat it. I feel like a lot of, I'm just going to shoot fire the, the questions that I know I'm going to get on this. Is it waterproof? I mean, it's just like another fabric. You can wash it, you can dry it, you can do whatever you want with it. It's just like a regular material like that you would buy at the store. It's perfectly fine. Look at that. How cool is that? So yes, you can. I know another question I'm going to get is Courtney. What if I want something bigger? Guys, the, that's just a small roll, I mean, piece of it. The, the roll that comes in it, I mean, is I think a little, it's like a two yard. The one that you can buy separately, look at that. That's 5.4 yards on this roll. How, I mean, the thing is heavy, but I mean, you could literally go five yards with it and this whole roll 
could be this fabric or you know it's got a built-in cutter inside of it so you can change whatever size you are you want and it will cut it and not waste any of your roll if you're not wanting to use the full roll i'm going to switch here because i feel like you can look at that look at that how pretty is this how beautiful that is that is amazing oh my goodness i want the whole screen to be just this fabric this is beautiful and i made it within minutes think if i wanted a coordinating fabric or oh my god oh or this in strips oh with a memory quilt with the pictures and this that is beautiful I told it what size we want it it would automatically cut that so we're not wasting any of this roll if we wanted to and yes i I broke it out of its box. <laughs> I, haven't for, I haven't used my whole roll that I do have, but I have one on standby. And of course, those are available for the Print Moto uh, machine. There are available uh, additional rolls and additional ink. There are some that come with it out of the box, but there are additional ones whenever you need that down the road. I mean, honestly, I think it's gonna be a while before you really need a ton of ink. Uh, this one tells me it's 3,000 prints. This one, because the black is uh, double the size, it's bigger than the other inks. Um, this one is 1,500. That, that's, it's gonna take you a while to get through some of those inks, but that's really cool. So those are sold separately when you need it down the road, but they come in your, in your box with your machines. I'm, I'm stuttering. I'm so excited about this. I, this is new for brother. This is, this is a, you know, I'm getting serious. This is brand new for brother. Brother makes printers. It only makes sense that they make a fabric printer. And yes, there are other fabric printers out there and I've played with them before, but this, this is cool. This is a printer that that I feel like I will actually get some use out of. It's an actual fabric printer. So I'm super, super excited. Guys, let me know if you're excited down below. We are going to be doing some projects. We are going to use this fabric and print out tons of different ones. And I mean, this is, this is amazing. This is so cool. So let me know what questions you guys have in the comments. I will be happy to answer them. Let me know if you're excited about the Brother Print Moda, cause I know I'm excited about the Brother Print Moda. Also, how cool is the name Print Moda? <laughs> this is cool. This is this is a lot, and I need a haircut. This is cool. I'm excited. We are making our own fabric, guys. Me and you. We will now be making our own fabric. There's even some vinyl that uh, came out with Print Moda to protect it, even though it is fine to touch stuff. They just did that in case it's something that's like on a bag. It's going to be worn and torn a little bit just to protect it a little bit. So that is an extra item to get. It literally looks like this but it's vinyl. So <laughs> guys, I am so excited. Don't forget that you can find the print moto on our website, allbrands.com. And we appreciate when you guys shop with us. We are a family owned and operated company since 1976. So, and we will be doing videos on print moto. So let me know how excited you guys are. Don't forget if you do purchase the print moto on our website or in our store, go ahead and drop the name all after hours. So they know that you guys watch our videos and that actually helps us create more videos for you guys. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm super excited. I'm about to go make something with my print moda because I just have so many ideas. And don't forget that you can get the print moda at one of our seven locations. I'll pop them up on screen as well as our website, allbrands.com. That way it can get delivered to your door. So all the additional items are on there too. An extra fabric roll, extra, um, I did that backwards, extra fabric roll and extra ink. Courtney, what do you recommend? If I'm going to be honest, I would get an extra fabric roll. Maybe you could wait on the ink, but the fabric roll is something I would suggest. So I hope you guys got a lot of information before you buy your print moda. Those are the things that I would want to know. It can be your home printer if you're just wanting regular prints because it will print on paper. So think happy birthday banners you can have. So it's not just fabric. So paper and fabric, you now have that option. It will work with other, uh, fabric so you know there's other fabric printable fabric out there it will work in the print moda so the roll currently is the only roll that i actually see that can go in there but the sheets that are like a computer size uh, piece of computer paper size that can go in the print moda so if you do have those already you can use them in the print moda so that's something pretty cool that no one's really telling us but that's really neat that you can use other uh fabric brands 
in the print moda. So very, very cool. Guys, we'll be doing a ton more videos with the print moda. Let me know you're excited by liking this. And don't forget, by liking and subscribing, you let us know that you want more of these videos. Y'all have a good night.